Hey everybody, the Bong is back. Welcome to part 9. Let's play Final Fantasy 2, brought to you by GamerOne.com. After doing a lot of level grinding around Finn, and actually the little area northwest of Finn. Here, I'll show you where exactly. It was around here, like these little marshlands. You can fight some really tough enemies like ogres, ogre mages, and magicians. They are tough, but they give you a hell of a lot of rewards. Here, I'll show you. The Magician is the best because I actually got like two Berserk Tomes and a Stun Tome from him. Which is really nice because I gave Berserk to Firion and Maria I believe. And Berserk actually temporarily raises your attack. It's kind of like Temper in Final Fantasy 1. Trust me it's a lot better and I gave Firion, no wait I gave Maria the Golden Armor. And since Minwoo is going to leave my party soon. I just had to give him a golden armor too. I got the golden armors from the captains and Finn. So with that in mind, let's go. I also got some mithril equipment from those land turtles you fight in that area northwest of Finn too. The Empire also suffered heavy losses at the Battle of Finn. They're building the Dreadnought and Bathskin to help compensate, compensate for those losses. Dreadnought? Here's a new turn. Let's ask about the Dreadnought. The Empire is using the people of Basque to build a Dreadnought. The Dreadnought itself is a massive, heavily armed airship, but I already learned that they're a ship. Let's ask what airship. A man named Sin, I mean, man named Sid, the former captain of Finn's Orders of the White Knights, built an airship. A ship that sails the skies, but the airship captivated him, mind and soul, and he soon left Finn. We are poorer for his absence. I am told he now lives in Popped, grant granting travelers passage on his airship for a price. He then uses his, this money to make further refinements to his airship, or so the story goes. Okay, at least we know the story about how Sid got his airship, as if we really cared. Let's get out of here and head over to the weapon shop. I believe I can give Mithril to this guy named Tobol. You're just an old man, whatever. Here, here take your Mithril and go fuck yourself. Where is it? It's on the bottom, of course. Oh ho! That's Mithril! I've been waiting for the chance to work this metal for as long as I can remember. Alright, leave the rest to me. Swords, armor, you name it. I'll start pounding it out. It's been too long since I let my hammer ring. Good for you! Now I can finally buy some mithril goods. You can buy the equipment I made over the shop counter. This'll keep my hands full, I'll tell you that. Well, at least I don't want to worry about carrying two tons of mithril on my ass anymore. Look at that, we get some new equipment too, like the Mithril Knife, the Mace, Spear, and a Sword. Trust me, Mithril equipment is probably the best goods you can get so far. Let's place the Long Sword with the, where is it, to the Mithril Sword. The Javelin with the Mithril Spear. And do I, is there a Mithril Axe? Uh, no, there isn't. I guess I can get that in another store. The Mithril Mace, I can do that, yeah. Now let's try the Armor Shop. I guess they got some Mithril Goods, too. Alright, there it is. Talk to you. Look at that, you get some new equipment. How about that? Doesn't that look nice? There we go. Now our defenses will really skyrocket. Helm. Oh, Mithril Armor. Since she's wearing Golden Armor, it won't make a difference. Oh yeah, I forgot to give you a shield. My bad. Is there a Mithril Shield? I don't think I picked one up, did I? Oh yes, there is. Okay, Armor and Mithril Gloves. There we go, we're swimming in Mithril now. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna have to sort this. That would be a lot easier to get to later. Okay, we're good to go. We're done here for the time being. Let's head over to Basque. Which is where the Dreadnought is being built. Okay, just some standard enemies, same as usual. Actually, since my shield is pretty high, and I don't have to worry about defense for a good while. Why don't we do it this way? Why don't we give them matching weapons? 
Well, actually, we don't have to give him matching weapons. Mithril Spear. I'll give you a Mithril Sword. Battle Axe. You get a Mithril Mace. And I just mix up a letter a little bit so you can actually level up, like, two types of weapons. Because, you know, you're going to need those skills to come up later. It'll be a lot easier that way. Oh, here's Paloon. I think it's good they can actually level up like two types of weapon skills this time. And attack twice each turn. Which is even better. Yeah, I wanna go back to Popped. Alright. Sailing in the ship. Going in a 90 degree angle. Okay, two 90 degree angles. Three 90 degree angles. Four 90 degree angles. Okay, there we go. Hey, where's the airship? Oh, never mind. Can I just do folks on an airship? Sure. Let's see, where do I want to go? I know it's the cheapest. I can actually go almost anywhere. Let's go to Basque. I mean, it's not that far of a walk, but I want to show you what it is like to ride an airship. All you gotta do is just go over here. Just don't get into too many enemy encounters along the way. That's yeah, a piece of cake. There. Hit A, and you'll automatically fly to your destination. Welcome to Basque, my friend. You'll need a pass to board the Dreadnought. You were the Rebels, right? You've got to destroy the Dreadnought! Oh, what if I had the chance? Hey, who's this guy? What's this? Back to work! Work, I say! If we finish even a day sooner, my glory will be that much greater. You're making us work like slaves! I hate that Borgen. Being used by a man like that really makes my blood boil. It's weird, though. I can't seem to remember what things were like when the Dark Knight was in command. Dark Knight? Is Batman here? Batman? Please save me, Batman! Oh, man. Where am I, anyway? Where can I explore? General Borgen doesn't seem to be willing to deal with these peasants as he should. Okay, so not all of these uh, Imperials are that hostile. Some of them you can actually have a conversation with. Okay, here's a new magic I can buy. Fear, strikes fear, and close hearts, making them more likely to flee. I don't want that. Asuna, which is where wears off every battle. You know, like venom and stuff, or poison. Asuna, oh, definitely gotta get that. That's pretty good. Sansing Foes, let's buy 11 tomes, but I don't think I'm gonna give it to anyone. Sans is not that useful. The spells like Asuna definitely are. I'll give an Asuna to everyone. Actually, I think I should give Asuna to Fury and Maria, and Guy should get best Asuna. Yeah, nah, I think it'll work that way. Yeah, I think we're good with that. General Borgen took command of things in Basque a short while ago. Things have gotten much easier than they were under the Dark Knight. It's hard to believe a bumbling idiot like Borgen could become a general in the Imperial Army. Oops, you didn't hear that. What do you think about Wall of Rose? Aha! You're one of us! I had to be careful what I did while the Dark Knight was here looking over my shoulder. But the great General Borgen is anything but. He's just a domineering blowhard. So you're the ones they sent to destroy the Dreadnought. Don't worry, I'm on your side. There's an entrance to the sewers up ahead. It's a back way leading to the Dreadnought. Be careful. They see us talking. They may start to get suspicious. So I'm out of here. Good luck. Well, of course the spy would leave us to our own devices. Welcome to Bath's Cave, which is a sewer no less. Hey, hidden passage! Yeah, there actually are hidden walls some spots in the game. They're not that obvious, so look around for them. Some of them actually serve as pretty good shortcuts. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's just a long sword. I like the music here, it's a bit epic. Uh, let's pop up our Berserk. It's a pretty good spell to level up, trust me on this one. But you're gonna be using Berserk a lot in battle. I mean, anything that can raise your attack 
and can buff up repeatedly? That is what you want! You want a spell like that! Unless you're using magic all the time, then it won't even mean jack shit to ya. But if you're gonna be using physical attacks, especially with both hands, so help me god, this is a must have. I think Thunder should do it. I mean, those balloons are easy. See? Oh, my thunder went up. So stay tuned for the next parts when I get through Bath's Cave and try to reach the Dreadnought before it launches. See ya!